Hi, my name is Dan Chair for Tiger King Muay Thai, and today we're going to go over how to use a bag effectively in Muay Thai. The first thing we must remember is that the, the punching bag is more complex than it seems. So when we strike the punching bag, we want to ensure what distance or range that we're striking from. So there's three different ranges we want to remember. There's a kicking range from here, where just my leg can reach. There's a punching range, which is in the middle, where I'm able to efficiently throw strikes. And there's a knee clinching and elbowing range which is right on top of the bag here, where I'll throw up my elbows and my knees as well. So we also want to ensure every time we strike the bag, we still want to use technique. For example, when I throw a jab, I want to ensure when the bag moves forward, I do not want to stop the bag. That is incorrect. So when I hit a bag, I want to make sure I move around the bag. Move around the bag like if it were an opponent. I want to go with the bag. When the bag swings towards me, you have to simulate just like someone coming at you aggressively. So you must ensure that you block, stop them. So if someone co comes towards me, it simulates on attacking, I'm going to block, I'm going to post, or I'm going to move out of the way. So we also want to make sure when we're, especially in Muay Thai, that we're mixing up our combinations. So for example, you want to work combinations such as one, two, right leg kick, and post. So we don't want to just concentrate on one area jab and we also want to come in and out to use different ranges so for example if I throw a jab and I step forward now I'm at right in the clinching range elbow range and knee range so I'm going to throw a right knee post when I post now I'm in the kicking range so I'm able to kick and move out and start my combination again you want to ensure when you use the bag that you don't just come in and just keep throwing combinations you want to simulate like it's just like a fight so I'm going to jab I'm going to gradually pick up my pace and my strength and also ensure that I have techniques. So I move around, I can post the bag, knee, post, and move out. So I always want to make sure, yes, you're using a lot of power and you use more technique on focus mitts, but you also want to ensure that you're using technique as well and not just building up strength that's unguided.